his way to the octagon. Let's hear it for Bradley Bennett. Bradley's a freestyle fighter training for about two and a half years. Out of Pursuit MMA and King of Prussia. This time, blue corner, Bradley Bennett. And Bradley's opponent this evening, coming just out of the red corner. Well, let's hear it for Ronnie Lovey. Ronnie Lovey. Ronnie sounds like he has quite a uh, contingent of fans here in the arena tonight. Ronnie's been fighting with WC XCC for uh, since he turned 18. He's had a few fights with these guys. Very relaxed when he comes out to the ring. Uh, as I was saying, he was on our show the other night, and he was very, very interesting to talk to. Very well spoken. Uh, apparently, he scored a 1700 on his SATs, which is a very high score. That's impressive. And he's been training for about three years. Well, we know he's smart if he has a 1,700 on his SATs. Let's see tonight if he's going to fight smart we and were, fight intelligently. We were actually speaking to him the other night about how much he traveled for this training camp. He's been putting about 1,200 miles a week on his car going to the various locations to get some of the top training partners that he could. Well, a lot of these guys are going to do that, you know, to pursue their passion. That's why it's so important for these guys to get sponsors as soon as they can because there is a quite a cost involved with getting ready for a fight. Well, the real question I have is, how is Ronnie going to take down Bradley if he can't see his legs? Uh, he is wearing camouflage shorts, so it will be difficult to see him in the ring. I mean, I would employ that strategy if I were fighting. You can't take down what you can't see. Bradley looks to have cut some weight, too. He probably walks around about 170, I would think. He looks very big for this weight. Very big. I would, uh, just looking at them, I would give the uh, the strength advantage to, to, uh, to Bennett. Now entering red corner, Ronnie Lovey. Oh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, 155 pound class. Hilly into the blue corner. Training in pursuit, MMA. From King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, Bradley Bennett. Bradley's opponent this evening, held out of a red corner, training an American top team from Harrisburg, or Pennsylvania. Let's give it up for Ronnie Lovey. Hell in the action, our referee, Keith Peterson. Here we go. Here we go, we're ready to start the sixth bout of the evening. Another 155 pound division fight. Right off the bat, you can tell that Bennett looks to be the stronger of the two. Fighters come out and they touch hands. Both guys look very relaxed. Feeling out process. Oh, very heavy right hand to Ronnie's very head. Very heavy. He took it in stride, though. Very comfortable still. Didn't rattle him at all. Footwork's going to be the key here for Ronnie to get away from those punches and be on the end of them. Ronnie shoots Beautiful in. Very takedown. Nice takedown. Looking to work the head and arm choke. Bennett seems to be aware of that and is blocking him from stepping over. He's cutting his knee across. Ronnie Malling. Look from the work and arm bar. Uh, again, head strikes are illegal from this position. 
It sure is, but when you're only dealing with a two-minute round, you can take almost the entire round and ride this guy yeah. and, and get a get a decision. Notice, he's already walking up, though. Notice what Ronnie's doing with his legs as well. He's great finding the legs every time his opponent bridges. He's going to go for an arm. Very good top control. When you see a mounted fighter walk up to the armpits of the downed fighter, that usually means he's going to go for something. Yeah, he's going to look for a submission, uh, usually an arm bar or a triangle from that position. He's got very heavy hips on top, keeping his opponent pressed to the ground. Here he, there goes. he goes. Very quick finish. Nice win by Ronnie Levine. Very strong contingent of fans here with him tonight. Kid's got a bright future ahead of him. Bradley may have had his arm popped here. It was hard to see because from our vantage point, but it looks like he did maybe pop his elbow. Yeah, what, uh, he, he could have defended a little bit. One of the defenses to the belly down position is to step over your opponent. Uh, I couldn't tell he had that ability or something was trapped. Uh, referee was smart and he jumped in right away. Fighter, like we always say, fighter safety is important. Well, it looks like those, uh, all those miles he was put on his car paid off. Yeah, man. Looks like they're still attending to uh, his elbow. He looks like he's all right. Pat Vittori is about to announce the mm -hmm. final. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Up to pretty Pat Vittori. Your winner, one minute, 32 seconds into round one. Winner by armbar tap out. Let's hear it for Ronnie.